All right, we're back. It is very yellow right now. Look, yellow. I imagine the sun's going down. So, is that in the uh, western wing or something, right? It's, it's over here, right? I would need the hip bone to get in, I guess. I think I have to go through the front door first. Okie dokie. Who should I talk to for this? A mind of madness. Let's track that. Uh, up here it says. Yo, I'm talking to you. Do you, you have business with the... The Jarl is not to be disturbed with common affairs at court. Do you direct those concerns to me? Okay. Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years, and mm -hmm. for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. The Emperor? Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Except for the West Wing. Well, I'm gonna go in there anyway. Wait, I already talked to you. What do you want, Imperial? Please, feel welcome. The Court of Solitude. Mm, who to talk to? Uh, you. I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them Please address pleasant. My duty is to keep the yard safe. Yourself. If you have Not business, please see Fall of Firebeard, my steward. Be well. Uh -huh. Pray for solitude and my husband. Hey, who are you? Where where are you? Ah, uh, they're here. The cook. The lady. Hey lady. Watch your feet. We just clean there. Really? Got lots of things to take care of. What do you need? I need to get in here. Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Ertie going in every year to clean out the spiders. Oh. You go in. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. If I'm oh, no. Chatting, I'd never hear the end of it. He scared you. Hi. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Are you my gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life of adventure and ro- Don't know. I made a wish in the town well that a golden knight came to take me to his castle. Oh, does it spoil the wish if I tell? You're not like enslaved in here or something, are you? Need something? I don't think so. What are you doing that for? What am I doing? I'm walking. Can I knock over your plant? Excuse me, I'm going in here. Alright, something about spiders? I guess I'll clean them out for you. I got the hip bone. I like hip bones. Wow. Yeah, I guess it's been about a year already. Helio? Mead. What is all this in here for? Would this count as aged? What's it been like? 300 years or something? There is a lot of cobweb in here. Huh. What? What? Hey! Pelly, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. Goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, 
Smile? <laughs> Grow old? <laughs> you are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god. And that's hardly sport. <laughs> you know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time. Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese to die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to rumpf? Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. Okay, dokie. Hey, Shia Gorth, how you doing? What you doing hanging around here talking to Pelagius? Pelagius? Pelagilius? Uh, where's a good place to talk to you at? How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Daddy? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh. Oh, is it your first time? Um, I don't commonly go into the heads of dead people. Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired. He forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Uh, well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, <laughs> I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Were you now? I twer. By whom? Wait! Some dude. Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, ah? Huh? Oh, the ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, what was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? You are. Ha! No matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, Tiny? Puny, expendable little mortal. Actually, think you can convince me to leave. Yes. Because that's crazy. You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Uh huh. Ah. Uh. Well, this is most accurate here. <laughs> Surely, good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. The mad god, actually. I know who you are. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, <laughs> you can call me Anne-Marie. Already Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive uh. and having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. I'll stick with Shiogura. If not, then call me Sheagora. <laughs> Daedric, Prince of Madness. Charmed. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. Ooh. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. <laughs> dare to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are! I would appear to be. Welcome 
to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> Yay. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabajack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? So Wabajack's back, huh? Hey, I got a Wabajack. Yay, Wabajack. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. What? I don't you know, I don't even know. Aren't you my dad? I'm busy doing the fish stick. If you consider shivering isles and all that. Mind. Well not my dad, my um great 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 grandfather, if we're following the idea that I am descended from I'm busy Stop talking about the fish sticks! It's I'm trying to converse with myself. State of mind. You have nothing to say. Who do you think he likes of Babajack? Wow, okay. That's not really that surprising, I guess. Okay, random three directions. Let's go the way that was closest to where I spawned in here. Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. One of these but things the is deepest, not the same. Keenest hatred was for himself. Hey. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. But self loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Uh huh. Into balance. Let's uh move. Okay. Shush. What? Stop moving. Glory is good as dead. Here we go. Never Here we go. There we are. Uh oh. He got small again. You seem to be having a small problem. Or perhaps it's a big problem. There we are. Ah, oh, he's tiny. He's tiny. Aw, oh, come on. Get big, you. Bigger. Bigger. Wonderfully done. Pages is finally ready to love himself. And continue to love everyone. Yeah. Anything in this place? No. It doesn't make any sense anyway. Why am I in a funky outfit? Okay. Thanks, Sheogorth. There's a floppy bit. Why am I not walking? I wanna walk. There we go. So this is Wabajack these days, huh? Well, I guess the accent wasn't down there. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. Why waste all that hatred on yourself when it can so easily be directed at others? But someone still has quite a bit to do. Hmm. I will smack you with a stick. For my hand. Oh, let's try this way. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All oh. you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Grand. Okay, what's a night terror? I don't want to know. You, wake up. Try this. Uh oh. Hi. Goat.
I'm gonna kill a goat. Ah! Ooh, I found something on it. Weird! Okay, but we can this guy up. I gotta... I gotta have a jack all the night terrors, I imagine. Picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Picked a bad time to be a small child. Hmm? Hey. Hi there. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, Hagravin. And now it's... Oh, lady. Hey! Nice clothing. Okay. Oh, fine. There we are. Now, what you gonna be? Uh, oh. Maybe it became the bonfire. I don't know. <laughs> Ah. Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Nothing to say. Can't even hit ya. Why can't I hit ya? Whatever. My wife and I. Oink! Things won't be the same without her. Oh, okay. Got something to say? No. I don't see an exit. Is this an exit? No, that's not an exit. I'm going back, I guess. So what you got to say now, Mr. Shio Gorth? I'm so happy for you. Bye! What a burden to have carried! But you've done it! You've conquered your own inner demons! Bravo. Um... You... It didn't mean... Yourself. You meant... Pelagius? Well... Same congratulations apply. Just, you know, for what you did for the insane emperor. Conquering paranoia should be a snap after that ordeal. Hmm? Paranoia. Hmm, so paranoia over here, eh? Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. Eh? You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabacha to defeat the enemy while they do the same. Oh boy. Fine enemy. Hmm. Who should I hit? I would think the, uh... I think we'd be kind of evenly matched here, wouldn't it? The, uh... I don't know, let's shoot one. Your creature doesn't appear to be faring Ow. any better than before! We think train's off. Which one is mine? I don't even know. Stop! 
Ow. Stop moving, Storm Ash, not just This one's a little weird. Oh, I thought you'd never ah. figure it out. Okay, it's because I shot the middle gun, guy. Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. See, I thought I had to shoot them, but I shot the middle guy. Because it was, I guess it was Pelagius, and he didn't do anything. It's like I'm being followed by an invisible cult thing. Oh no, I'm becoming paranoid! I'm destroying your table! Ha ha ha! It's a very delicate state of mind. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Come on, you. Get up. Get Do up. You mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. Potato it's a in very your face. Delicate state of mind. Potato roll. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Say more stuff. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. <laughs> ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. Heartless. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. Hey, You're hey, hey. Ago. Bye. I've been known to change my mind. So, go. Really? Uh, okay. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion. Feel free to keep the Wabba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. <laughs> you take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. <laughs> Ta -ta! Uh, we'll consider that. Let's teleport now. Where's it teleporting? Oh, there we go. Yay. I... Um, I haven't just been standing here, have I? <laughs> so, where did Pelagius go? See down here? Running around. Full of my plans. Oh, it's the pot! <laughs> it's painful. Weird. I'll get. And then Lydia stands on my corpse. Anyway, continuing on. I'm. What the hell am I wearing, by the way? Hold on.
Sorry about that. And the incredibly loud noises that it makes if I forget to take it out. This is a fine hat. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to wear all that. I want to wear my armor. And my shield. And my amulet. And gauntlets. Okie dokie. All clothed? Yes. Watch out for the pot. What? What the? Okay. Messed up my field of vision. Hello. What is this doing here? Thief. Huh. That's nice. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my. To plunder my virtue. <laughs> Such a delicate flower is your virtue. Huh. Oh my god. Oh god. Put it away. Put it away. Uh. Sheesh. So is there nothing down here of value? Oh, there's something. Uh-huh, I'm not even looking. Qua. 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 You are supposed to be number one. seeing anything of interest. Let's have some books. Yay, books. Things automatically fall down when I touch you, Lydia. Like some sort of repelling force. Well, I guess it's back to the skeever. And I can listen to the age of aggression. Which is vastly superior to the age of oppression. Hi. Oh, hello. Just ha are you my gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life? I whisked her. <laughs> oh, I gotta load the auto save because it didn't quick save. Yep. Hi. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human. Even a Breton. You're an elf, aren't you? No doubt most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. I find them wondrous. I make sure Erica keeps breathing. No, that honor is Sabeel Stentor's. A smart man steers clear of Stentor. And keeps himself out of the dungeon when she's having a bad day. Mm-hmm. Let's just say that the headsman's axe may not be the worst way for a solitude jail prisoner to die. <laughs> Look at that. I told you to watch your tongue, and mine is waggling. I've said enough. 
Oh, I think you'll find that magic is rare in Skyrim. Winterhold, though, the college there has it in abundance. Look there if you wish to learn. I really do have to get there. You are free to leave. Why, well, thank you for permitting that. Was that okay? I didn't get to read anything. Staying safe, I hope. I appear to be relatively, relatively, relatively safe, considering I am alive. And where the hell am I? Gotta go over there. Ah, it's raining. Uh. Uh. Gotta go this way. Right? Yes. Hi! It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. Okay. His late lordship was quite the admirer. The guy in from Dragonbridge? He didn't seem the type. Uh, you never can tell. Dragonbridge? But I can, but I can. New in town, right? The divine saved to sleep, me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Right in. You look like you could do with a ripe apple, or a tomato, Fresh cabbage, or, or leek. I have my ways, but it's not Here's easy the these days. The, the black blood Check marauders have been plundering Just ships off the coast. A lot of people been hurt by their foolishness. Victoria is practically glowing. At times, Jari Ra Spice stopped by the other day, fever? told me to keep an eye out for him, Actually, see if any new people arrived in the city. Okie dokie. Sure, Come back when you figure like out you how to the spend money. The last... I don't have any need for food. I don't feed. I don't feed at all. I don't eat. Why can I not speak this language? I stumble over syllables. Eh, he's still there. I told you. I told you. suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. I don't even know you. Why are you talking to me? Enjoy Being your old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. Yeah. Not even flinch. Yeah. Feel free to make sure. What can I do for you? Only true Imperials request that one. <laughs> we drink to our youth. To the days come and gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. I just like this tune. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in troubled times. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see what this wood elf hmm? can do for me. The really ugly wood elf. It's quite the jaw. What do you need? 
Oh, didn't I talk to you? Really? Here's the deal. I can smuggle. Don't plan on. Give me what you can't live without, and I'm. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy. Ah, uh, boy. Um... Gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Silver Fang. Uh, I would like my armor. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta remove everything, right? We will see. Um So how's this work exactly? I just give you everything. I don't know about any of that. Okay, let's see here. I'll make a perma save. I shall quick load. Make a perma save since I didn't. And then load this one. So 59 is before I handed him my stuff. <laughs> 